good morning. Today is Saturday, December 5th. It's time for our weekly highlight meeting. Today it's about a fresh perspective. Um, oh, let's see how I did this week. Let's take a look. I'm very happy with that. I was shooting for two pounds. If you follow my daily vlog, you know I was shooting for two pounds this week. But I lost 1.8, which is half of the 3.6 I gained last week. So I can't really complain too much. So um, I have a total loss of 93.2. And my weight this morning was 211 right on the nose. No matter how many times I lean to the left and lean to the right. Wait, sit down, stand up, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> it still stayed at 211. So... Uh, I guess that's what I truly weighed this morning. I uh, actually got off the scale, walked around, and came back on it, got on it again, 211. So um, I was hoping to crack into the 210s at least, you know, like 210.9. I was hoping for that 0.1 extra pound, but I'll take the half of what I gained. It just doesn't seem fair that you can gain all that in one week, but it takes you like two, three, four weeks to lose it. It should give you the incentive not to gain it in the first place, shouldn't it? Anyway. So, but anyway, we're going to have a fresh perspective this week. I did have a fresh perspective last week. Last week I did a menu plan, which I did long, 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 long ago, and it worked then, and I don't know why I stopped. Uh, I really do uh, contribute that to my loss this week because I really stuck to it. So today I'm going to work on a plan uh, for next week because my menu I did last week was from Sunday to Saturday. So I'm going to follow my plan today and then... Um, do the new plan tomorrow because it, it really worked out. It really helped me and so I'm looking forward to doing another menu. But let's get back to the meeting. The meeting is a fresh perspective. Winter can feel daunting. Colder weather, shorter days, less outdoor time. Um, I, I think that's all true but I look at it in a perspective. I love being outside. I absolutely love being outside. It's my dream place to be is outside. I, uh, I wish I had an all-weather room because uh, I would sit there in the winter. I know I would. you got to look for the good things and the bad things and things. That's my life. I always look for the good and the bad. Uh, the good thing is that I don't feel so guilty getting my pajamas on at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> it's dark. i got the blinds closed. i got the lights on. Why not get my, my robe on and my pajamas and get all snuggly, get under my blankets because um, we keep the house kind of cool. And... Uh, just kind of take advantage of it because in the summer I would never ever think of put my pajamas on at seven o'clock at night because it doesn't get dark till like nine thirty ten o'clock and I would just feel like a sloth. <laughs> but in the winter it kind of gives you an acceptable thing that you can do it. Uh, the cold weather doesn't bother me. I, I'd rather be cold than hot. And uh, I didn't walk this week just because of sheer laziness. It's another you know there's no other excuse. It was just sheer laziness. But I'm hoping to get back walking this week. A couple days this week, really, I couldn't walk because it was we had an ice storm, a sleet, icy mix on Monday and Tuesday. And I won't walk if it's slippery outside. But there was no excuse other than laziness that I didn't walk on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But I'm, I'm hoping that this week looks a little bit better, that more conducive to walking. Um, just like we have so many other times during this time of year, the change, it's normal for our routine, like activities, to feel interrupted when the seasons change. Um, I walk all year round, but what has stopped is my swimming. But what I did in the winter is I joined a, a water aerobics class at the high school by, um, not near me, but by me, like about 10 miles away. Um, but um, they're closed because of COVID. So um, I can't get that water routine in during the winter. So uh, I just have to up my game on my walking. I'm not really one into exercising or yoga or anything like that. I know there's so many different things I can do for exercise. But um, I just have to get back to my walking. And there's no reason I can't walk twice a day. There really isn't. Uh, as we've already learned, the more, the more consistent we are with healthy behaviors, the more we feel like second nature, no matter what's going on in our lives or the weather. My Part of my, my nature is I get up in the morning and I go for a walk. So this week has kind of thrown off my routine a little bit because that really took about an hour out of my day. So now I have an extra hour to think about food, which I don't want to do. And um, it gave me time to, you know, like I walk with my sister who lives three doors down. And uh, 
we got to, you know, keep in touch daily. Not that we don't call each other, but it's nice walking. But hopefully this week, like I said. Mix things up by trying one of these winter weather ideas below. Remember, the best ideas are the ones that fit your routine and lifestyle. I don't read these beforehand, so we're going to read the, we're going to do these together. Although I do watch Joan's Plate of Plate to get her perspective, and I always like her perspective, but that's on Wednesday, and I like to read it, refresh myself on Saturday when I read it again. Uh, number one, need fresh air and looking to get in some steps for the day? Head outside during lunch when the sun's still out, also known, also known as it's warmer. That's true, but I walk, I walk about 8.30 in the morning, which the sun is just starting to come up. So it's not really the warmest, but uh, I have so many um, warm clothes that I wear that it doesn't really matter how cold it is outside. I can stay warm that way. And like I said, I think it's a more invigorating walk. I think that uh, you burn up more calories because your body's trying to keep you warm at the same time. So uh, it's like a twofer. You're expelling energy and you're burning up energy with uh, trying to stay warm. Number two is create a designated indoor activity space complete with a basket filled with yoga mat, towel, and weights. Can, good work, can goods work too? And try the latest fit on work on, workout. If you, if you follow me, you know I'm not really into exercise. <laughs> I'm really not. But I do have, uh, I guess you could call it a designated indoor activity space because when I get uh, my pajamas on the night before, I fold my clothes that I had worn that day very neatly in a pile on the kitchen or in the bathroom counter. And um, when I walk in the morning, I put the same clothes back on because I know that when I get home, I'm going to take my shower and put a fresh set of clothes on. So they're all set and ready for me. My shoes are all ready for me. And I have um, in my um, mud room or laundry room, I have uh, hooks with my coat. And then I have a bag with gloves and hats and things like that in it. So um, I'm all prepared. I really am. And if I ever wanted to do an exercise, there's so many YouTube videos that you can watch that uh, there, there's no, there really is no excuse if you're really into exercising. Number three, before bed, turn off the TV and cozy up with a book. Bonus points for including a warm drink and a blanket. Okay, I don't drink anything at night because then I'm up all night going to the bathroom. I've reached that age where if you drink anything after 9 o'clock, you're up all night going to the bathroom. So I don't drink anything. Um, I'm not, I like my tea in the morning. The caffeine never bothers me. Uh, I can drink tea at night. It doesn't, the, for some reason the caffeine never, I, I could drink, when I was drinking Cokes and Pe Pepsis and Dr. Peppers and things like that, I could drink them at night and that wouldn't keep me up. It would be going, getting up to go to the bathroom that would keep me up. It wouldn't be the fact that I couldn't sleep because of the caffeine. Uh, I do read a lot excessively. I, um, I'm reading a book right now over here because I read it at night in here. It's a James Patterson book. It is called The Inn and it's about this writer that's accused of murdering his wife or ex-wife. They're in the middle of a nasty divorce and he's accused of murdering her but he did well so far in the book he hasn't done it. You know like at the beginning of the book they say that he didn't do it and uh, he goes back to his home in, uh, I think it's in Maine, and uh, to take care of the home because his grandmother, who is like the master of the house, it remind me of the song of Les Miserables, but I won't sing it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, he, uh, he goes back to take care of the homestead while she's recuperating from an injury that she had. And he's a writer, and so he's writing a book. But I, it's an interesting book. I just started it. I'm, I'm, well, I started it in the summer, and then I set it down for something, and I forgot where I put it. And I picked up another book and started reading it. So I started reading it again, and then I thought, you know, I don't remember it. So I started from the beginning again, which I do quite a bit sometimes with books. I have read books more than once. Um, I'll read a book. I, if, I, if it was just a, a good enough book, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll donate it to the library. But if it was a really interesting, good book that I might want to read again, I put it on a different bookshelf, and then I have like, I have a bookshelf in here of new books, and I have a bookshelf in the other in the guest bedroom of books I've already read. So uh, if I want to read a book I've already read before, I go in there. I know I'm wacky. Uh, number four, set a new wake up time to grab an extra hour of Z's or practice mindful breathing. Well, I have an app on my phone or my phone on my watch 
that reminds me that I need to get up and move. And uh, it tells me to breathe and all that. Um, I didn't realize how much I was sitting until I activated that app. And I do kind of like it because it does make sure I get up and move and breathe and, and stuff like that. Um, I, for years and years when I worked, I, I'd have to get up like at five. When my mother was living with me towards the end of her life and she required quite a bit of care before I went to work because Jim was retired and he stayed home and took care of her. But uh, I would get up like at 4.30 to bathe her, to dress her, make her breakfast, um, make her lunch that the gym just had to take it out of the refrigerator and bring it to her in her room. And, you know, get her situated for the day till Jim got up. And then Jim was able to help her till I got off of work. So for years I went to bed like at 9 o'clock at night because I needed like, I need like six, seven hours sleep. Uh, since I've retired in 2013, I, um, I stay up late. <laughs> It's like a rebel in me, I guess. I very rarely go to bed before 2. Um, 2, 2.30 is when I go to bed. And I usually wake up about 8, between 8 and 9. And then I lay in bed. I say my morning prayers. I um, play games on my phone. I go on Google News and you see what happened overnight and things like that. And then I go for my walk, like about 9 o'clock. Um, 9, 9.15, 9.30 is when I go for my walk. And I just get on with my day. Uh, number five is get creative with your indoor workout routine. Take to the stairs in your home and stand up throughout the day. Well, I do stand up throughout the day, and the only stairs I have are going to the basement. I should do that more often. I really should. Uh, since I have my knees replaced, um, I don't walk downstairs like a normal person. I, uh, I always hold on to the railing now, and uh, I just like go step, 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 which is not the right way to go down the steps. So when I watch movies, it's something like when you've lost an ability in your life, no matter what it is, whether it's due to a handicap or disability or just something as you grew older that you can't do anymore, I think that you're more attracted to seeing that. I am fascinated when I see people just going down the stairs, not holding onto a railing or anything, just rolling down the stairs. And like when I watch The Fugitive, because I love The Fugitive, it's one of my favorite movies, when I see Tommy Lee Jones chasing after Harrison Ford and they're running down the stairs, they're running and they're hitting every other stair. They're not even hitting every stair. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I used to be able to do that. But ugh, there's no way I would attempt that now. My fear is that my knees, because sometimes they do kind of not lock or pop. It's, it's hard to describe, but it's just every once in a while. Not a lot, but just every once in a while, they'll, they'll kind of like click into place or something. I don't know. And I, I'm just so afraid it's going to happen when I'm going down up or downstairs. So I always hold on. Jim's leaving to go Christmas shopping. I told him to buy me really good stuff. <laughs> Jim always buys me good stuff. But anyway, um, so I, I just, um, I have a fear of going up and down stairs. And so that's why I really don't go down. And I don't really need anything down in my basement. Everything's on my, I have a, uh, a ranch house. So everything's on one level. My laundry room, you know, all my bedrooms, my kitchen, everything is on one level. So I don't really need to go down the basement. Um, it's it's nice down there. It's not like it's a dungeon. <laughs> you know, I mean, we have a nice little, uh, like a living room area down there. And we have a pool table. And Jim has his work room. And he has, uh, we have a storage room. We have a bathroom. We have a guest bedroom down there. I mean, it's, it's a nice enough basement. But, yeah, I'm not going to go up and down those stairs. But... If I ever get brave enough, I guess I will. Okay, the recipe is for a creamy banana French toast casserole. I make something similar to this, but instead of using the 12 slices of whole wheat, whole wheat bread, I use the Aunt Millie's, which is only two points for two slices, so you could cut back on some points there. Um, I agree with Joan. It's, it's, it's a 9 by 13 dish, which is like about that big, and it serves 12. So I'm thinking your pieces are like about, probably about that big, which I guess is a normal sized person for a normal person. But if you've ever watched my daily vlog, you see I don't eat normal portions, which is probably one of the reasons I'm not losing weight have faster. But if I wanted to cut back on my portion sizes, I could lose my weight way faster. I know I could, but uh, in the long run, it's not going to benefit me from anything because once I lose my weight, I'll want to go back to my normal portion size and then I'll put the weight on that I've already lost. So it's better for me to, to uh, eat the portion sizes that I do 
try to cut them back a little bit and then with with that's uh, reasonable to me and be satisfied with small losses each week because it's a loss each week and just know that that way I'm going to be more likely to keep my weight off because uh, I'm doing the right steps as far as making sure that it's done right and you have to find a program that works for you the Weight Watchers uh, Blue Plan is working for me that's the one I'm using and uh, I've lost what 90, 93.2 pounds I would have I've, I've lost in my lifetime probably three four hundred pounds I've never kept it off this is the first time that I've lost weight and kept it off and a lot of times people say oh I'm too old to lose weight you know I'm 70 years old it's slow trust me it's slow but I'm eating a healthy lifestyle I'm enjoying what I'm eating I'm f loving the way I feel I'm able to do so much more than I could do when I was 60 when I was so overweight I really think I can do a lot more at 70 than I could at 60 because I was so overweight at 60 and uh, so anyway that's my first perspective that's my first perspective on the uh, weekly meeting this week I um, I'm just trying to stay on track for the holidays if I can lose every week during the month of December that's a victory that's a victory to me that's for sure a victory for me and uh, I think following these five steps will help everybody but if you're new to my channel please subscribe leave a comment hit that like button and share it let me know how you did on your weight this week um, I always like to hear how other people are doing uh, especially like uh, people that are struggling I like to hear that not that I like to hear that you're struggling but I like to hear that even though you're struggling you're still sticking with it because I'm struggling right now I'll be honest with you I am struggling and uh, I, I'm sticking with it so I can show you that you can struggle I've, I've come to the conclusion that this my life the rest of my life is going to be a steady progression of loss and gain and loss and gain and loss and gain but I'm hoping that it's more loss and gain loss and gain like that because uh, it's hard even when you're on maintenance anybody that's on maintenance will tell you that just because they've reached that magic number let's say they their magic number is 150 just because they reached 150 doesn't mean that every week when they get on the scale they're going to weigh 150 some weeks they might weigh 152 some weeks they might weigh 148 it's a matter of knowing that sometimes you're going to have a gain sometimes you're going to have a loss don't give up when you have that gain give it another try just give it another try because I think one more try and that's the reason I've been so successful this time is because trust me I've had a lot of gains in my four years of being on Weight Watchers it'll be four years on December 30th but I've lost 93.2 pounds so I'm doing something right I'm doing something right not only have I lost 93.2 I've kept it off now my highest loss has been 95.2 so I'm still two pounds behind where I want to be no 1.8 pounds I was I think my lowest was 209.2 so I'm like 1.8 over what my lowest was but in the past I could have had a gain and I would have said you know what I give up what's the point I'm old what difference does it make I don't really don't care I don't have that attitude anymore I'm just like next week I want to lose another 1.8 so I can get back to where my highest weight loss was and then get moving again and that's my goal so always 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 stay safe and uh, so like subscribe comment share I told you all that okay I'll see you guys on my daily vlog check me out have fun